Art Carney was probably best known for his role on the hit television show, The Honeymooners. But what a lot of people may not realize is that he also was an accomplished film and stage actor as well. Joining us now is Art Carney's grandson, Devin, to talk about a special tribute at the Oscar night party at the Katherine Hepburn Cultural Arts Center. Welcome. It's great to have you. Great to be here. So let's talk a little bit about your grandfather. How did he get into the biz? Um, he actually got into the business. Um, some of his brothers were involved in it, and he got um, roles on, on radio. And then he eventually got a break with Maury Amsterdam, who was best known for playing Buddy on Dick, The Dick Van Dyke Show, who had a radio and television program. And then in 1950, Jackie Gleason was in New York and needed some actors. So my grandfather joined him, and the rest is history. <laughs> and he really is an accomplished actor, isn't he? Is. he? Mm -hmm. On stage as well. Yep. He, on stage, he actually originated the role of Felix Unger on, in The Odd Couple, um, which was later played by Jack Lemmon and then Tony Randall on a TV show. And... Uh, mm -hmm. He was also in a lot of uh, um, mo other movies and television shows as well. He's actually part of the, uh, the Star Wars universe and the Batman universe and the Twilight Zone universe. He was in all um, television shows regarding those um, those sure, shows. Sure, shows. Wow. Yeah. And I think it's so cool. This is the actual Oscar, and it's it so heavy. It's like eight pounds. Yes. If not heavier. <laughs> and it happened in 1975. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's take a look at uh, the moment. The winner is Art Carney in... And look at all the actors he beat out <laughs> that night, Devin. Yeah. Amazing. He beat out Al Pacino, Jack Nicholson. Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Tough competition. Very tough competition. <laughs> wow. Must have been such a proud moment for everybody. It was. It was a very proud moment. <laughs> Let's talk about the love story between... Uh, him and your grandmother. Sure. Um, that was one of his greatest accomplishments, I think, in addition to the Oscar. He married my grandmother in 1940. They met in high school. Um, she was actually running for some elected office, and what they did back then is they would have someone else read the speech. So she picked my grandfather out of a hat, and oh he read gosh, the speech, and that's how they met. Um, and then they got married in 1940, and they actually got divorced in 1965. They both got remarried. So the woman in the, the clip with him is actually not my grandmother. Um, and then in 1980, they remarried each other, and they were together <laughs> until his death in 2003. And he actually uh, moved <laughs> to Connecticut. He did. In the uh, 1950s, he and my grandmother mm -hmm. got a summer home in Westbrook. Mm -hmm. And they, they commuted there from Bronxville, New York. And then eventually, um, once they were remarried, they moved permanently to Westbrook, Connecticut. How did you guys spend time together? Were there any hobbies? <laughs> um, we had a lot of fun together when I was growing up. He would actually come and pick me up uh, when I was in middle school and high school, and he had a black Camaro. And all my friends cool. <laughs> called it the Batmobile. You know, he was, he was the 75-year-old man driving up in this sleek black Camaro picking me up. So it was kind of cool. And yeah. we, would go, we would go bowling. We would play mini golf, things like that. So he, he was a lot of fun. He actually inspired you to get into acting, but you're, you don't do it as a... As a you don't have an job. Oscar yet, do you? No, I, don't, I unfortunately okay. <laughs> don't have an Oscar yet. Um, but he did inspire me to do some acting in high school and college, which was great because I, I absolutely love doing it. And I think I get a lot... A lot of that from him. Sure, Absolutely. Devin, tell us about uh, the Oscar party at the Kate. Um, the up. Oscar party is this Sunday, starting at 6.30 at the Kate in Old Saybrook. Um, and there's going to be a lot of great, great features. There's going to be a red carpet entrance. Um, there's going to be characters. You can take your picture with a life-size Oscar. You're going to have the Oscar I will, with you. I will have the Oscar, Oscar with me. Right? <laughs> um, there's going to be some great food and desserts. And there's also going to be a great silent auction where there's going to be some prizes like a 14 karat gold necklace, a trip to Savannah, Georgia, a golf outing at Foxwoods, all starting at 65, 75% below their actual value. So Very it's going to nice. be a great night. Great Sounds night. fun. All the information is up there on the screen. Uh, one more time, the Katherine Hepburn Cultural Arts Center. It's uh, Sunday, February 26th at 6.30. Still some tickets available. Call 860-510-0453. Kevin, thanks so much for being with us. That was my pleasure. It's a lot of fun. I've never touched a real Oscar <laughs> yeah, before, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> a local mother and daughter are putting a little sparkle in this year's Oscar swag bag. Stay with us.